Buds, welcome back to my channel. I thought today would be a perfect time to come back with a DIY back to school video. If you can't tell by the makeup, today's theme is Disney princesses. I'm just kidding, it's Euphoria. Everyone loves Euphoria. And since that show takes place during school, I thought it'd be a perfect theme for today's DIY video. Whether or not you're still doing online schooling or you're going into a classroom physically, I thought this DIY video would be perfect for anyone who still just wants to freshen up their wardrobe. Even if you're not going to school, these DIYs are still cute. So usually I would go to the thrift store and upcycle some old clothes into new clothes, but since not a lot of people have a lot of cute thrift stores near them or even thrift stores at all, I figured a lot of people have Walmarts near them. And you know, Walmart doesn't really have cute stuff. Well, sometimes they do, but usually they don't. So I'm going to show you in today's video how to turn some not so cute Walmart things into really trendy Euphoria inspired clothing pieces. So since we are on this Euphoria theme, I wanted to share with you some lashes that I am completely obsessed with. And that is this new female founded brand called Glamnetic. They are this viral magnetic lash and liner brand. And I kid you not, they're literally all over the internet. Doja Cat has posted about them and Christina Milian also wears them. Seriously, ever since I started using them, I have not gone back to my original lash routine. Glamnetic lashes are perfect for girls that aren't really good at putting on their own lashes. Like for example, my mom wears lashes, but you know, it's not her favorite thing to do. So ever since she's heard about Glamnetic and started using them, she won't stop talking about them. The lashes come in this really cute lash case and you can magnetize them back on after you're done with them for safekeeping. This is an eyeliner. It's a paraben free magnetic liner and it glides on so smoothly. I bet your usual lash routine would be eyeliner and lash glue, right? But now you only have to worry about eyeliner, so it's one step less. There are these really tiny magnets on the lash and all you have to do is apply the liner, hold the lash up to your eye and it sticks on automatically because the lash magnetizes to the liner. It's literally so easy, it does the work for you. You can wear the liner and the lashes all day and if you tug on it, you see that it just does not come off. It stays. The hold power is super strong. I'm very impressed. Lemnetic has over 20 different styles to choose from, so whether you like the more natural or you're more into dramatic lashes they could fit any look that you're going for and they also have colored lashes for you girls that like to do crazy colored makeup like euphoria inspired looks to be honest when i first heard about magnetic lashes i was very skeptical because it just didn't make sense to me how magnets on lashes can just stick to your eye but now after using them and seeing how well they work and how easy they are to put on i am sold they literally eliminate the stress of lashes which is a big stress for a lot of girls out there Okay. What I really like about Glamnetic is that if you're not feeling this dramatic eyelash look, you could just take it off and put more natural lashes on and it's that easy. But with glue, honey, you can't do that. You will literally rip your eyelashes off. I can't believe I just ripped off my lash on camera. But look, she's back. Thank you to Glamnetic for sponsoring this video and for allowing me to complete my Euphoria looks. If you want to try these lashes out for yourself, you can use my code NAVAROSE for 15% off your order. You know, get that cute little discount because you know we're all going to do a lot of back to school shopping. I'm not even in school anymore, but you know, I do still go back to school shopping. <laughs> all the Glamnetic links and my code will be down in the description box. Check back at the end of each DIY tutorial to see how I styled my Glamnetic lashes with each Euphoria look. And now, are you you guys ready for some euphoria diys because i sure am so let's go all right so first up we have a diy based off of our main girl rue we're gonna alter these cargo pants that i found from the men's section all you'll need for this is just basic materials so you'll need scissors pins and a sewing machine in order to make the cargo pants high-waisted, I needed to take in a lot at the waist because it is definitely too big, so I pinched in the side seam and folded it to match with the pocket seam. After you pin it down, it should look something like this. If you need to take in more at the waist, you can also fold in where the darts are above the butt pocket. I just folded over the original darts and then I top stitched that down. And this is what it should look like after you're done sewing. Okay, so it did irk me a little bit that the top of the back waistband didn't really line up after I made the new darts. But you know, I figured I would probably just end up wearing a belt with this anyway, so it's gonna be covered. 
If you watched my 2000s Walmart DIY tutorial where I made these cow print pants, I'm basically cutting them the same exact way for this tutorial. So I'm adding a split at the leg opening as well to make them bell out a little bit more. I'm just cutting up right along the side seam and folding the raw edge so I can hem it with a straight stitch. This DIY can actually be done to any pair of pants. I just really wanted a loose fitting high waist pair of cargo pants and you know, I thought these would be a perfect and really easy DIY to do. Plus a pair of nice high waist cargo pants can run up to $50 or more and these were only $20. Rue's look in Euphoria is pretty natural where like she hardly ever wears any makeup, maybe except for like two or three scenes throughout the whole show. So I pair this look with my Glamnetic Live-In Lashes which give a natural that I found at Walmart. I also literally broke a nail as I was filming this video. So, you know, we're just gonna have to deal with this for the remainder of this tutorial. I am so sorry. I definitely wanted to do an edgy look for the black backpack. So I used my Cricut machine to cut out a chromey vinyl because she's just so cute, but she's also a little baddie. So I thought she was the perfect design to place at the center of this backpack. This was also my very first time testing out this transfer tape and I realized it was extremely hard to work with and really sticky. So it's definitely not a tape that I would recommend. To make the backpack a little bit more interesting, I also converted the adjustable straps into buckle straps just because I felt like it looked a lot cooler that way. So what I did was I first unstitched the seam that was holding the adjuster and then I cut off a third of the strap. I reattached the strap to the bottom and then I poked a hole at the top of the strap so that I could push my buckle prong through. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to fit the buckle under my sewing machine so I just had to hand stitch it closed and yes everyone, I am using pliers to help me sew. I just find it so much easier to pull and push the needle through when it's really thick fabric if I'm using pliers versus a thimble if that makes any sense. Honestly, you guys should try it sometime. It's really helpful. Instead of regular holes for the straps, I decided to use grommets because I thought it looked a lot nicer that way. This is totally optional, you could just go with some regular holes that you punch through. I first poked a hole where I wanted to place my grommet and then I made the hole slightly bigger by making tiny snippets with my scissors and then I just added my grommets. I actually have a tool to apply these size grommets which made my life so much easier. Alright, like I said, the transfer tape was really hard to work with because it was ultra sticky so it left this ugly sticky residue but you know we're just gonna ignore that for now also there's this weird black strap that they added across the backpack you know I don't know why they added it it's just so unnecessary but you know what they did it now we're stuck with it I had extra strap material so I decided to make a third buckle and figure out how to cover it up somehow I debated whether or not I should make it horizontal or vertical but I decided to go with vertical because the straps on the back of the backpack were also vertical I just added E6000 glue to the ends and then I wedged them inside of the seams. The pink backpack is obviously for Jules aesthetic so I tried to make it very kawaii and cute as possible. I again used my Cricut machine to cut out a design and I used this as a template for my rhinestones. I found these neon pink rhinestones that I've never used before so I thought it would be fun and really pretty to use for this look. backpack was a little boring to be honest so I also decided to add this pink feather boa that I had lying around and all I did was just glue that across the pocket. And just so it wouldn't be in one spot I also added it to the top handle strap. And of course, as you saw earlier, I also converted the backpack straps into buckle straps, but this time I used rhinestone buckles. 
Since this is a transparent backpack, anything that needed to go inside of it also needs to be aesthetically pleasing, right? I added my Map of the Soul book because it fits perfectly with this look. Also, Target sucks because they put a sticker on the front of it which totally ripped off the cover, so I had to fix it and paint it back to pink, which is very noticeable. The other things I added was some pink Pocky, my feather pen, my pink butterfly pocket mirror that I got from Daiso, my rhinestone flip phone, and pink sunnies. I really like how this backpack turned out and I think it totally fits Jules' aesthetic and also mine aesthetic as well. So backpacks similar to this can cost around $30 plus dollars, but this clear backpack was only $15 from Walmart. Since it is Jules, I definitely had to wear a pleated mini skirt and I'm wearing my love lashes from Glamnetic. backpack is the complete opposite. I'm adding my death notebook, some all black pencils, my smoky eyeshadow palette, this cute little pouch that I don't know what I would use for but it totally fits the aesthetic, and some red cat eye sunnies. I threw on an edgy red and black outfit to complement the backpack and fit cat style. I really like how this one turned out as well and surprisingly the backpack was only $11 from Walmart. And for lashes, I'm wearing my Glamnetic Vibe Lashes. Yeah. I'm all in, Brody on the line, I'm tapping in Got out here pulling the strings for me A girl on the line, she, she feeling me Preoccupied by the motivation Put in the time, pay the entry fee Bro on the rise, yeah, he kinda nice Inside of my mind, no one's real as me Lately, life has been gorgeous Wake up to clear, my eyes hit record Praise up to God, I ain't chasing no Swing in the mist, got me hitting these lips I get the orders, don't get it distorted Disconnected, I been cordless, I been cordial I been exploring, I got a whole lot But somehow I want more of it I want to tour and put on for the soil. Hey, bruh, remember they used to ignore us? Now they drop me the pin with the cord and they catch me running through the ordinance. Remember we couldn't afford the whip. Pushing the scraper, that was so ages. We blowing on grapes for the flavors. All of a sudden we made still independent by no label. For now I'm going hard enough that the streams will lead to a house by the beach. All of this done with the speech. Filling my pockets for now and for later. I want the picket for some sign of the neighbors. I used to skip out on the payments. Now they say tax for the neighbors. And finally, we have my favorite bad B, Maddie Perez. I found this cheetah cardigan for $13 in the women's section and I thought it would be fun to transform it into a two-piece set. And to do so, I just used black feather boas and an inch and a half black satin ribbon. I marked on the center front and sides where I wanted to split my two-piece set and I cut across. Hemming the bottom edge of the top was a little difficult because it was so stretchy. So the best way that I found was to sew a non-stretch ribbon to the edge. But honestly, you could just leave it as is, like as a raw edge because it naturally just folds up. For the bottom half, to make the skirt, I just cut off any excess material that I knew I wouldn't be needing and I cut at an angle to make the waist smaller. I also flipped it upside down if you couldn't tell already. To make the waistband, I sandwiched my satin ribbon together so that I could sew the top of the skirt in between. And then for closure, I added an invisible zipper to the seam. To finish it off, I sewed the feather boa to the bottom edge and I actually hand sewed this to the skirt since the material is very stretchy and also I didn't sew through the boa. I actually sewed around it so that none of the stitches would actually break when it did stretch. <laughs> I really wanted to make a bell sleeve, so what I ended up doing was cutting along the side seam up about 7 inches, and then with the excess material from the skirt, I cut out a triangle that I knew would fit inside, and then I hand stitched that close. To make the sleeve a little bit more bell-like, I decided to take in some material around the armhole area, and to finish it off, I added some feather boa to the end of the sleeve. 
I really wanted to make the neckline into a v-neck so I folded in the top corners and I hand stitched more boa along the collar edge. Lastly, I sewed the remaining satin ribbon that I had left over onto the side seam so that I could have a cute little bow on the back. And this is the finished outcome. I am just so completely obsessed with it that I pretty much wore it for three to four days straight. I'm not kidding. It was definitely giving me hella Maddie vibes for sure. The great thing is, is that the cardigan was only $13 from Walmart. However, you can actually upcycle any old cardigan just like this if you have one lying around. And finally, the Glamnetic lashes that I paired with this Maddie look wearing my Vogue lashes. Unfortunately, I am very sad because my Euphoria DIY video has come to an end. If you enjoyed my DIY Walmart flip video, feel free to check out this one right here because you know we love a good Walmart flip. Good luck to those who are starting school this year. Yeah, I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.